Mia was born with an abnormal aortic arch. It's a rare problem, but we see it a lot. Because it mimics asthma so much, I think that it often goes misdiagnosed. So Mia lucked out. She had a really good doctor who said, I don't think this is right. So when we were able to make the diagnosis of her double aortic arch, uh, it, it was very satisfying. So then the challenge is a surgical one. How do you divide this double aortic arch and, and save her life without hurting her? A lot of these babies' hearts are like Rubik's Cubes, and you can't give somebody a piece of paper with a picture of a Rubik's Cube on it and say, how do you solve this? You have to hold that three-dimensional object in your hands and then come up with the solution. At Nicholas Children's Hospital, we're actually using 3D printing to assist the surgeons with their surgical planning and teaching of new medical students. So having the ability to make these 3D models, to look at them on the screen, but also to print them out and hold them in our hands, has really made a fundamental change in how we view a lot of these diseases. Make a 3D model of her very complex aortic arch vessels. We were able to figure out which part of her arch should be divided to achieve the best physiologic result. I showed the family their daughter's heart. I hate opening up a textbook and saying, this isn't really your baby's heart, but it kind of looks like it. Here's how we're going to do the operation. That doesn't resonate with them. I showed it to them. I said, this is what's choking your baby. This is why she's taking all those medications and why they won't work. It's very powerful when you show a family, this is your baby's heart, and this is how I'm going to repair it. We've gone through planning an operation on a patient who was told, hey, you're inoperable. We made a 3D model. I literally carried it around in my gym bag for a couple of weeks. So I would reach in, take it out, and look at it until it finally dawned on me that there was a relationship that we could exploit. Well, why experiment? Why go into the operating room and hope when we've got a model and we can actually test the device in the model and know with certainty this is going to work? They could feel confident that we were going to do the right thing. When we did the operation, we took intraoperative images and they looked exactly like that model. From having four and a half years of not knowing to all of a sudden, in, in less than a two month time frame, she's back out of her surgery and back to normal. You know, so that's been a great experience for us. She's very active, she loves dancing, she loves baseball, she likes doing everything. So now it's just going back to normal life and not being worried. Show them the level of sophistication that you have. Show them what you're capable of. A 3D printed heart, accurate to the most minute detail, has been the difference maker for me. It's helped me take somebody from being inoperable to operable, and we've saved their life.